Hello, my name's Phil and I work for the Consumer Services Department at the Hoselock Head Office in Birmingham. With over 50 years horticultural expertise, we at Hoselock understand the rewards of gardening and want to help you to get the best from your garden. OK, well in this video I'm going to show you how to change the diaphragm assembly on the Hoselock 320 and the Hoselock 640 air pump. The procedure is exactly the same for both air pumps uh, except that the 640 has two diaphragm assemblies and the 320 only has one. But the procedure to remove and reinstall the diaphragm assembly is exactly the same. So I'm going to show you the actual method of doing that on the larger 640 air pump. So before we start uh, any work on servicing the air pump, first thing to make sure is that we've disconnected it from the mains, which we've, we've done here. And the second point is just for safety reasons, I'm wearing protective gloves just to make sure that I don't come into contact with anything that's been in contact with the pond water. So uh, I'm just wearing a pair of, of gloves just to protect my hands. To change the diaphragm, what we need to do first is turn the air pump so that the base is facing upwards. On the base there are four screws that are hidden behind four rubber plugs. So we need to take those little rubber bungs out. I'm going to use a pair of pliers just to make it easier. But they just pull out, like so. Now we've taken the four rubber plugs out, you can see the four screws and we're just going to remove the four screws with a posi drive or Phillips screwdriver. So we've taken the four screws out and then we can just separate the top half of the air pump from the bottom. There are some wires to connect the flow regulator knob to the main chassis but that can just be put to one side and here you can see the two diaphragms that uh, supply the air. Now when you buy the service kit for the 320 you'll buy one air diaphragm set and for the 640 obviously you need to buy two. To change the diaphragm assembly there's no wiring that needs to be disconnected or anything like that inside the pump. What you need to do is remove the three securing screws like so. If you remove the one on its own at the top you'll find that's quite a long screw so that that's best to be removed first. The other two screws you only need to actually loosen one of them and then remove completely the second one just to save a bit of time and to save you losing things. With the second screw removed you can then move the retaining strap out of the way. So with the securing strap out of the way and all the screws removed we can then take the diaphragm assembly out of the body. You'll notice it brings two little air tubes with it. This can then just be removed for refitting onto the new diaphragm assembly. And also there is a little metal washer there that also needs to be taken off so that that can be fitted onto the new one as well. So to refit the new diaphragm assembly we first take it out of the blister pack like so. So with the new diaphragm assembly taken out of the blister, we need to refit the little metal washer back onto the diaphragm in the position that it came off on the previous one. You may need to squeeze these two plastic ribs together to enable the washer to be fitted on properly. So we've now refitted the little metal washer onto the diaphragm assembly and we're going to fit now the two air tubes onto the two outlets at the front of the assembly like so. Push those fully on and these are then pushed onto the two outlets that are on the body of the diaphragm assembly of the air pump.
We locate the diaphragm assembly back into the body and we refit the securing screw at the top like so. And then swing the securing strap into place and refit the securing screw and tighten both screws fully down. So that's the first diaphragm fitted to the uh, air pump assembly. The procedure for the second diaphragm is exactly the same as I've showed you. So we can assume that we've replaced both diaphragm assemblies and we just need to put the lid back on to the air pump and secure it with the four screws. So refitting the lid, making sure that it locates properly and turn the assembly upside down and refit the four screws. With the four screws now retightening, we can just refit the cover plugs by just pushing them into the holes. Turn the unit back the right way up. So that's it, that completes the installation of a new diaphragm into the uh, 640 air pump and as I say the 320 is exactly the same except that there's just one diaphragm instead of two. That's it, job done.